Well, hey guys, how's it going? It is your favorite gunman here, Gunner Nelson from Nashville, Tennessee. My good news of the day. I hope you guys are having fun wherever you are. I don't know what time of day you're going to be watching this, but I want to let you know wherever you are that you are loved and appreciated. And I love being your friend. I love being connected with you. Thank you so much for all of your support throughout all the years. If this is your first time here, as we always say, welcome to our extended family. We kind of have a little tribe going here, and uh, it's a tribe of mutual respect and support and love and passion and fire. You know, we, we, we love uh, this little community that we have here. So welcome. Um, today, you know, I just want to talk about uh, back to the, the lockdown thing that we've got going on here and the narrative that a lot of you might be subjected to every single day. Now, I want to remind you, it is an election year, so uh, it's really difficult to know who to believe and what to believe about what's going on here. In states like California, in states like uh, New York, uh, Illinois, Michigan, um, you've got some governors who seem to be hell-bent on taking your liberties and your freedoms away. I feel very passionately about that. I consider myself um, human first and your brother um, and also a patriot. I, I love being uh, an American here in America right now. And I love being from the family that I'm from and, and having these friends that, like you that we have out there. Um, but that said, you don't really know because it's kind of like the sky is falling. You turn on the, the news and someone is telling you, oh my God, there's a resurgence in COVID-19 and you know it's going crazy and it's like wildfire and we're all gonna die, we're not. It's complete crap, please don't believe it because again, I'm gonna go back to the data, all right? This is completely apolitical. I'm a stats, facts, and figures guy, and that's really inconvenient to a lot of people out there who've got an agenda that go the other way. But here's what the data is showing. The death numbers that I've said over and over and over again are the only numbers that really count. And here's why. Um, back to that. The death numbers are nosediving. They are going down. Okay, now what you're hearing is a lot of focus from the media of, Oh, we've got so many cases and the cases and the cases and the cases. Uh, here's what they're not telling you. Here's what the data shows. Okay, uh, if you look at the populations of the hardest hit states, uh, New York, California, Texas right now is having a problem. God bless all you guys down there. If you look at the segment of the population that is truly affected by coronavirus, by this novel coronavirus, against the overall population of the states, the number is incredibly small. It's like 1% of the overall population of America has been directly affected by COVID symptoms and COVID deaths. Now of that 1% of our population, again, tragic when anybody dies, but if you base this on like living life and, and the stats of people actually expiring, uh, it's lower than the normal expiration rates. Okay, that's a different thing. But of the 1% that are actually going to be affected directly and get to the point of death with COVID-19, again, tragic, 40% uh, of those folks are uh, actually in assisted living, nursing homes, again, tragic, because, man, I love my mentors, I love my elders. You know, with our Ricky Nelson Remembered Show, you guys are our peeps. So if you fit in that category and you're watching this, make sure you protect yourself. Now you guys really do need to take things very carefully. And uh, again, the, the basis of all of that stuff is washing your hands frequently. Don't touch your face, like we've said. Um, for everybody else though, that's out there in the world that's trying to keep uh, their families fed, uh, their family businesses going and doing all that stuff, you guys are gonna be okay. Because the stats really support the fact that it is disproportionate the amount of people who actually are directly affected by, by COVID. And because the number of deaths are going down, and they're reporting to you that the figures show that the number of cases is erupting, you have to look a little deeper into that. Because if you look under the surface of that, here's what's not fair. Uh, they're testing more and more and more and more. So when someone comes up with a positive test, they mark that down. Uh, when somebody actually gets to the doctor, dial a doctor, or the hospital, it's just been shown that a lot of those numbers have been fudged. And even if you go into the hospital for a broken arm and you happen to have the markers for coronavirus in your system, they mark that down as COVID-19. Here's another thing they don't tell you. When you actually take a, a coronavirus test, the problem with that is it's not specific. 
it doesn't test for this specific virus. It's, it tests for coronaviruses. Now, the normal flu that we get every single year is a coronavirus, common, common cold, coronavirus. And, and if you've been exposed to that and you have the antibodies because you've been exposed to the flu, let's say, or SARS-2, which causes COVID-19 or the common cold, that will test positive as well. So you're seeing all of those numbers of people who tested positive for COVID-19 going through the roof, but it actually is not accurate. We're back to this. The only numbers that really matter are the fatalities. And the fatalities are really going down. And I love hearing that because I want you to stay focused on that. Despite what you might hear, we're all gonna be okay, okay? Um, nature's working. And, and uh, you know, I, I've got this theory that uh, getting out in the sun and getting outside and breathing fresh air is actually really good for you. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people that is, pr I'm pretty contrary to what a lot of the folks out there are being told to do and, and, and all that information is changing every single day. All I'm saying to all of you guys is focus on the positive. And the positive is the people that are profoundly affected, and again, that's 1% of the entire population, um, of those people, 99.7% of all of those people who actually get coronavirus uh, will actually fully recover. So love and prayers as always out to anybody who's had a family member or a loved one um, have a hard time with COVID or God forbid uh, has expired from it. You know, take heart because uh, as far as our future for this, uh, this is not the end of the world folks. And I just wanna remind you of that no matter what. I love you very much. Have a great day, okay? And go out there and smile a lot. I don't care if it's from behind a mask or without a mask. I'm just gonna start smiling and I'm gonna make sure people see mine. So anyways, I love you guys. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.